Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Leanne. Today I want to talk about not worrying about the how, the when, the why, the where. Because the more you are keeping your focus on how is it going to happen, trying to control you know, the outcome and stuff, the more you're just going to see things unfavorable unfolding for you because you are holding on to um, that thought that you need this to happen, you know, so you're not expanding your mind to the 500 million other ways that things can happen. I'm going to give you a little example and it might be just a silly example, but it's just to kind of, you know, maybe help you understand that, oh, okay, yeah, it makes sense, you know, that it can happen in many different ways. So now for money. You know, I, I always affirm that, you know, I always have more than enough and money flows to me from many different sources. Um, I'm a money magnet, et cetera, et cetera. And so just a couple of days ago, I had, well, okay, here in Canada, we can play lottery online. I don't know if you can do that where you are, but we can play it online through the lottery site. So anyways, a few days ago, I got in my mail, uh, my email, um, a free $2 betting money, you know, just like that, you know, they just sent me money. Here's some free money for you. And I thought, okay, that's kind of cool. Like I, I get $2, um, to bet. So I went on the site and there was like these instant games where you, you put a little bet in, you click it. And then like, you know, it, 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 uh, scratches out the, the symbols. And if you get the same amount of symbols, uh, you know, there's prizes on the side that you can get. Anyways, so I figured, what the heck, I'm just going to bet the whole $2 because it was free anyway, right? It wasn't anything that uh, I had to take out of my pocket. So I put the $2 bet and then all of a sudden I got, it was, because um, the one that I played, it's like this Irish thing um, and um, these pot of golds came up. And so the, when the pot of gold comes up, it means that it gives you five free games and it doubles or triples every prize that you can get. Anyways, so um, I put the $2 bet, I clicked the bet, those pot of golds came up right away and then I had won, I think it was like $32. So I'm like, cool, I'm up 30 bucks. Well, actually up $32 because $2 was free. So I figured, what the hell, I may as well do another bet, right? <laughs> I'm having fun with it. So I did another bet and um, there was like a bunch of these other symbols and you have to match three. Well, a bunch of them were matching at the same time. Anyways, all together I ended up winning, I think it was like $80. And that was from $2 that I didn't even have to take out of my pocket. So this was money that was flowing from many different sources that I didn't control. I didn't know where it's gonna come from, right? So that's the thing. I know some people might say, okay, but I need like a hundred grand or I need a house or, you know, things like that. But nothing is impossible. Nothing. I believe it was Neville's brother. I think it was Neville's brother um, that wanted a house, a specific house. And this house ended up being given to him for free. I also seen uh, somebody had done a video and they were talking about how um, somebody had given them a house. It was a family member, of course, um, they had given them a house. Um, I've heard about people who had investors investing um, in their company for them when they didn't have a dime, you know, to put into it. So these things happen all the time. I even have free sites actually that I've seen where people will give you money just for no reason because you know they they're rich and they just want to invest or give away I guess donate you know to people but anyway so um, when it comes to things like money you don't have to worry about it because it can just come uh, in ways that you don't even know I've heard about a person that they had I think it was like five thousand dollars deposited in their bank account they don't know where it came from now of course me included our logical mind will think, yeah, okay, it had to have come from somewhere, you know, but no, it really, you can manifest it out of thin air. 
You really can. And so if you trust in it and you don't try and think of the logical part of it, because manifesting is not logical, right? Then you can manifest anything that you want. Because remember, this is your world. Imagine it like, okay, like when I first learned about manifesting, this is how I pictured it when I heard about, you know, like I'm the only one in my, in my universe. So I picture it like, okay, you know, like when you're, you're drawing a picture, you know, when you're creating these characters, right? So I imagine it like I'm drawing with my mind. So, okay, this is what the street is going to look like and these beautiful flowers and uh, this is what my specific person is going to be like and you know like we are creating everything even though okay it's just the words so I don't want anybody getting tripped up you know creation is finished it's already there but I'm saying like for me in my world because you know being a co-creator this is how I want things to be, how I want things to look. And so it's like, oh, wow. Okay. So I made things this way. So then why is it so impossible to believe? I mean, if I could create this amazing scenery outside, you know, that I'm looking at, why can't I just create, you know, a few bucks, you know what I mean? Like some money that I want or, or, you know the health that I want or you know if there's weight loss or whatever it is but of course and again me included you know the logical mind forgets who we really are forgets why we came down to this earth and the fact that we have the power to do all of this but we did that on purpose we wanted to forget to enjoy what it's like to be a human to make decisions to feel pain to feel hunger you know because I guess if you think about it you know if we're up there and we have everything that we want I guess it would be kind of boring right <laughs> so yeah like that's that's the way I envision it like of course none of us really 100% know I guess we're gonna know you know like when we return home um, but, you know, for those of you who don't believe or you, you are having a hard time believing, I completely get it. I was one of those people. I will say it all the time. I thought it was all woo-woo. I thought people were, you know, like, okay, they're crazy or they're delusional and, you know, but they were getting what they wanted, you know. Um, so that's the thing. Like, we can get anything that we want we are the only ones getting in our own way we're the only ones stopping ourselves from believing in that you know like a lot of the things that um like let's say if it's for a relationship and you know you feel like oh i'm always you know having these horrible people in my in my life so maybe something had happened you know a long time ago and so that started the creation of that story even though the creation is finished, but of that story that you're telling yourself. And so that's how you believe that your specific person is, or you might believe that all people are like that, you know, like I had an ex, um, that cheated on me. And so for a long time, I believe that everybody that I'm with is cheating. Um, and so I was going with that thought, and that belief, that assumption, and lo and behold, the next few relationships, what did they do? They cheated. I started to change that. I started to change it thinking, no, I am respected, I am loved, I am valued. Of course people want to be uh, committed to me and loyal to me, you know, because that's how I am in a relationship. And so finally, I had if you will, created this version of the person that I'm with now because I changed myself and my thinking and believing in how people are going to treat me because it all comes down to that. You know, who do you believe you are? Do you believe you are somebody who is not deserving of loyalty? Do you believe that you are somebody that never gets what they want? Do you believe that you're somebody that's always going to be in poverty? You know, if that is your true belief and you believe that it's not going to change, then of course it's not going to change. 
And I used to be one of those people. I used to believe that, oh my God, my life is just spiraling. It's going downhill. It's garbage. And I don't know how to get out of this, you know, until I found Sammy Ingram, actually. <laughs> Check her out. Like, she's incredible. Um, and I thought, what on earth is this girl talking about, you know? And then I started doing my own research. And... I realized that, you know what, I have been manifesting my whole life because I've been manifesting all of, you know, these horrible relationships and situations. And so, okay, let's try it out for, for myself. That's what I did. I didn't just poo poo on it. I didn't say, okay, you know, these people are crazy. They're believing it. No, I thought, what the hell? Because what's it going to do? You know, it's not going to change anything. Um, it can't get any worse, right? So I started applying it. This was years ago. I started applying it and then I realized, oh wow, like I slowly started seeing changes in my life. And I was like, okay, this makes no sense. Like, how is this even happening? How did just my thinking actually change these things around me, but it really did. And so now I realize that, okay, that is how it worked. Even though I will be honest, there's some things that I find I still have an issue with. There's still some things and that's my limited belief, you know, and that's something that I need to work on. You may have this limiting belief, but it doesn't mean that you can't change it because I've changed many, many, many things in my life. Um, and I know that things are going to unfold for me and change for me, um, even though I don't have to really feel that it's changing because the situations are not changing. I'm changing. Get what I'm saying? I have to change me so that I can step into that reality, which is just right over here where I have every single thing that I want. So, you know, as long as I continue to work on me and change me, not that I'm not perfect in the way that I am, you know, just like you're perfect in the way that you are because we are, we were um, created perfectly, right? And everything in our life is perfect, but we choose to see the imperfections. We choose to see that we can't attain these things that we really desire. But once we realize that, no, you know what? I'm just going to go all in, not going to waver. I'm going to really think about what I want and focus on the fact that it's already mine and do the things that I need to do to believe that. So like for me, it would be the visualization, you know? Uh, and so like what I would do is I would close my eyes and visualize, you know, my life, how I want it to be to see like the house that I'm in and not that I don't love where I am now because I have, you know, a cute little apartment. I have a wonderful landlord, amazing neighbor. Um, and it, you know, outside it's just so pretty. There's a lot of trees and stuff, but I want to be a homeowner, you know, but I can't focus. Now, obviously I'm in my reality here that I'm seeing that I don't own my own home. I'm not, stupid you know or delusional but I know that in my mind I own my own home and I can see what that home looks like and so I just need to stay true to that feeling and the feeling that I am this you know amazing creator I am the one that's in control of everything I am already living in my own home you know but I guess throughout the day, if I continue to waver or focus on the fact that I don't mean just seeing with my eyes, you know, because of course we're going to see what's around us, but I mean, focusing on the fact that, oh man, I don't own my own home, you know, then of course I'm not declaring I am. I'm declaring I am not. See what I'm saying? I know it can be confusing. I don't want to confuse you all. I just want you to know that you can have everything that you want. You really can. Anything, 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 anything. If you want to start dating a celebrity, you can actually do that. And you might think, yeah, but they're happily married. They live in Hollywood. I live here. And you know, like there's just too many circumstances. Remember, circumstances don't matter. They don't matter. 
because you were the one that created everything in your world. So of course you created this celebrity to be happy and living far from you. So you can step into that state of where you're actually with them because as long as you desire it, then it is out there somewhere in, in the quantum field. It is one, in one of these realities, somewhere, somewhere. You just need to get into that, into that state. Um, so yeah, and then you might see things unfold. Like let's say for example, they might happen to be visiting your city for whatever reason. Maybe they're doing a fundraiser or something and you just happen to bump into them at the same restaurant. And then you spark up a conversation and they might, you know, start following you on social media and then you're, you know, talking with each other and stuff. And then eventually, um, you know, you go and see them at one of their shows or whatever it is that they're doing and, you know, things will unfold and then, you know, they get divorced and you've always been there, you know, for them. And then you start getting close again. And then before you know it, there you go. I mean, I believe it's Justin Bieber's wife, Haley, that was a fan, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I I read a few other uh, celebrity stories where they married their fan, you know? Um, I mean, look at Meg Meghan Mar Markle. Meghan Markle, that's hard to say. <laughs> she married her prince. And who was she, really? She has no lineage to... Um, like no connection to royalty at all. She's just a regular person like you and me. And she married the prince. A prince. I mean, come on guys. Nothing is impossible. It doesn't matter where you are in your life. It doesn't matter any of the situations around you. It does not matter. Go within. We all have this free power to do whatever the hell we want. And we're we're taking crumbs, baby steps, you know, like to go big, try and get, get it all, you know, because we all deserve it. All of us. Um, so yeah, anyways, don't waver. Don't worry about it. Don't think it like overthink, stop overthinking. You know, I used to do the same thing. Just trust it. Trust the process. I'm telling you, just trust the process. Go within. Visualize every single night before bed. If you have a hard time while you're laying down, sit up comfortably, close your eyes, visualize how you want your life to be. Write it down if you like to write. You know, I'm so happy and grateful of that. And then you can write down what you want. You know, I finally make $10,000 a month. I am the healthiest version of myself. Um, I have the perfect body. Um, I used to script, you know, I have perfect hair uh, because in 2020, you know, I was very sick and uh, my hair was uh, um, drying out, thinning, falling out and stuff. Um, so, you know, I used to script things like that. Um, you know, you can script that um, I love my new home and I, I love the back patio and it's so fun to have uh, friends over barbecuing and whatever it is that you want. Just trust the process, write it all down. Affirm when you're doing some mindless tasks. So it would be things like showering. You know, when you're showering, you really don't have to think hard about, um, you know, how to wash your hair and stuff. While you're brushing your teeth, um, doing dishes, mopping your floors, you know, taking a walk, unless you're walking across the street. Of course, be aware of your surroundings, you know, uh, but, when you're doing mindless tasks, just affirm. That's it. I am and whatever it is. You don't need to. I will keep reiterating. You do not need to use these techniques. But for those of you who are having a hard time, you know, declaring your I am, this can help you. It really can. I found they help me. Sammy loves her robotic affirming. That's all she seems to do is robotic affirming and it works for her. It works for many people it worked for me too because I know that it helped me to feel an empowerment I used to look in the mirror and I would declare you know like I am successful uh, you know I am beautiful I am perfect I'm happy I'm whatever it is that I wanted to be and it just it felt empowering you know it felt it gave me that confidence that I needed 
to realize that, yeah, I can do this. I can have, I can do, I can be anything that I want. So just do whatever you need to do, you know, and loop it. Like I made the mistake. I used to just like, you know, say it a few times and then that's it. But it's like, no, you want to loop it over and over and over and over and over while you're doing these tasks. But in, you know, it would kind of be like, Okay, like I have a blanket affirmation, everything always works out for me. So I would do that. I'd be washing my dishes and everything always works out for me. Everything always works out for me. I'm rinsing my dishes, you know. My life is perfect. I love my life. Everything always works out for me. Of course it works out for me. I'm amazing. I'm perfect. I'm healthy. I'm strong. I'm successful. I'm rich. You know, like just loop it over and over and then you finish your dishes and then that's it let it go don't sit there and say wait should i run to my bank account and see if twenty thousand dollars was deposited no just keep doing it and things are going to unfold naturally for you because your logical mind needs to see that natural kind of unfolding really so anyways i know this video is long i hope it helps somebody just trust the process I love you all. Have yourself a beautiful day. I will see you in the next video.